Hey everyone, let's analyze uh, Bitcoin. So this is a chart of Bitcoin USD on the Coinbase exchange. Um, there is a lot of uh, news around uh, Bitcoin off late, obviously because uh, it sort of uh, crashed recently. We won't call it a crash per se, but there was sort of a meltdown. Bitcoin is off. Uh, you know, almost 50% from its all-time high. So let's try and, uh, you know, analyze uh, technically, you know, uh, what what could unfold in Bitcoin, where could you see support coming in, what could be the next trading opportunity in Bitcoin. So uh, from the weekly, if you see, this was, this was the earlier base. This was the base. Uh, that it was consolidating in and uh, this was the COVID uh, whiplash this was where it sort of uh, shake shook so there was a shake out here and then it quickly came back into the base post which the trading range became shorter over here and then it broke out so it was trading in a 50% range since uh, July 19 and it broke out around November 20. Okay, uh, the returns from thereafter were around 200 to 300%. It went up by 300, 350%. So this is what unfolded in Bitcoin in the past. Now, from a technical perspective, uh, you see, Bitcoin was extended. It was trading, uh, it was trading pretty far from its 200-day moving average. So a reversion to a reversion, uh, I'm sorry, a reversion to mean was uh, on the cards, which has played out now. That was one. Secondly, uh, this consolidation. Uh, sort of did not play out well because if you see there were a lot of uh, weeks where Bitcoin was sold. So this down week was on very high volume. This down week was an extreme exceptionally high volume. This down week was an exceptionally high volume. There was this week which was exceptionally high volume. So this volume bar uh, represents um, you know the 50 day average volume and this is the 50 week average volume so you know so it broke down below this consolidation level this was the consolidation level if you can see this was the consolidation level and it has broken this consolidation level so what can unravel from here my guess is that whenever Bitcoin tries to come here back into this zone it will most likely fail uh, feel selling pressure because it has broken down you know very vigorously from this area and it will feel the selling pressure so that is something that one needs to be aware of okay let's go to the daily chart on the daily chart there were multiple instances where you will see um, you know, there is supply coming in. So, you know, any down day with a volume higher than the 50 day average volume is considered as a down day, according to the analysis that I do. So, there were multiple instances where Bitcoin was falling on the relatively higher volume. The down day is on volume, higher volume. So, this was a rest, uh, this was primarily turning out to be you know technically bad for Bitcoin on the long side so what you will also see is Bitcoin broke down broke below the 50 day moving average over here and then it failed to you know to reclaim it and then trade above it uh, for at least two three weeks so that did not happen and the moment it broke down again it had a big fall so if you see it broke below the 50 went up again was consolidating in this area and the moment it broke below this it had a fall of 
uh, roughly around roughly around 37 38 percent so now where do we see support coming in or where is where is the where can be a buying interest so if you see this area this was the earlier area where where consolidation happened so my bet is that this is the area where buying and selling has happened and then bitcoin has gone up substantially from here from 41000 to roughly around 60000 so some amount of uh, buying interest can come in this zone so that is that can unfold this is the area that i am looking at for short term support and short term buying interest so when we go to the daily what's happening now it's sort of consolidating in this range so what sort of trade can be execute what will i look for if i want to go long um if i have gone long if i would like to go long here then you know i would like to basically i would like to basically buy in this zone and uh, keep my stop loss you know depending upon what is my risk appetite so if you if you are buying in this area and and your risk you can risk uh, say 20% on the downside or 25% on the downside so you could keep a stop loss around this area so it all depends on where you are buying and what is your risk appetite on the upside on the upside i believe if if uh, bitcoin starts uh, gets some uptrend on the upside i believe that bitcoin can go till here you know so you have around 39% uh, returns that we can get from here why i'm saying this area so if you if you will see bitcoin came down here and it bounced back from this area it bounced back from this area and then again before falling it consolidated over here for 3 4 days so this is the area where where i see that you know uh, that supply can come in so if bitcoin in the in the interim in the short term if bitcoin reaches this level um you know there will be some supply coming in also if you are buying here in this region uh you can exit uh you know in this area for a short term trade okay uh what can go wrong so what uh, if bitcoin fails to sort of bounce from here and what can go wrong or if if you don't want to be on the long side what can you do so if you don't want to be on the long side and if you think that you know uh, bitcoin uh, is not worthy of a long trade right now what you could do is you could see if bitcoin is you know sort of um, uh sort of reclaiming its 200 my my bet is that it reclaims its 200 because the 200 is still trending upwards so it reclaims the 200 and then it tries to basically reach the 50 day moving average so it reclaims the 200 and it tries reaching the 50 day moving average so if bitcoin reclaims the 200 and <coughs> trades above it uh, you could take a long trade or if bitcoin reclaims the 200 comes to the 50 and then it faces uh, uh, selling pressure at the 50 or resistance at the at the 50 so one can go short over here so we'll have to wait for that we'll we are uh, we'll wait and see how the trade develops so overall i think this selling is done uh you know the 21 day this is the 21 day ema the 21 day ema has to catch up the 50 day ema has to catch up i think the selling is done for the short term we'll have to wait and watch how this develops okay so uh this is my technical analysis on the bitcoin